the da had to find the unmute button as well. Sorry, I had to go find the damn thing again. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, okay, that's all correct. Okay, there we go. The sequel, where things look weirdly better in some aspects. Also, they have queer... Th this weird stuff. Wait, there's a mystery gift? Oh god, I forgot that the cursor's ditto! Oh god, that's awful. That's really creepy. Oh wait, this won't work because we don't have a gamepad attached. What the fuck is wrong with me? Event battle. Okay. So I think this is the one we're actually looking for, is just going to the city. Yeah, look at this. It looks way better. Okay. So, my room, Pokemon Lab, there's the gym leader castle. Yeah, I forgot about that. Free battle and Pokemon Academy. Fuck that. So, I guess we just go to the gym leader castle then. So, first up, we've got Faulkner in Violet City. Who's only got one dude before him. Okay, sweet. So, he does... He, his whole thing is flying Pokemon... Oh, God, it's by alphabetical. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's see then. I want to try and mostly use new Pokemon, but we'll see how that works out. Okay, so we need, like, rock and electric mostly. I remember a lot of stuff, just not all the stuff. Oh my god, we can give them berries? That's kind of awesome. I mean, none of them are great, but... And we can check power? Oh! Gen 2 is so much better. Also, these moves are fucking awful. What the hell, Tyranitar? Like, Pupitar has way better moves than you. What the hell? Um, what about Larvitar? Okay, I'm gonna say, let's take a... Let's take a Pupitar. I'm gonna say Bitterberries for everyone, just because I think there's a small chance that they might have... Uh, what are they called? Cat, what the hell are you talking about? Okay, I want to know what moves they gave Smeargle. That is a weirdly good Smeargle. Sure, just for the, the fucking sake of it. Okay, um, we do really need an electric type, though. wonder if it was their actual intent to make the final evolutions have terrible moves to offset their better stats. I feel like that might be it. Sort of makes an amount of sense. Let's not grab a steel bug type. He will just get destroyed. Yeah, like water gun and psychic on a slow king? What the fuck? Um, let's see here. They did add electric types in this. Zap cannon, dynamic... Oh! Is this just the one that what's-her-name has? The steel gym leader who for some reason has an Ampharos? Uh, right, <laughs> sorry, I was thinking in first gen things again and like looked at the bottom stat to check for special and was like, 77 seems like really shitty stats for an electric type in this generation. Nope, it's 112 for attack, so. Uh, yeah, honestly, Flaffy just seems really good. Okay, so we still need... I do love me a lantern. I love uh, water electric types. That is one of my favorite combinations. I don't feel like it gets done enough. Yeah, I'll take a Chin Chow. Right, that was it. That was it. I knew she had some sort of interaction with an Ampharos. I love how Mewtwo and Mew just get totally skipped over in this. Were there really, like, no rock type? Oh, right, Sudowood is a rock type. And knows rock slides, so that's good enough. Uh, 
We could probably use like a dark type or a psychic type then. How about we go grab um Houndor or Houndoom? Crunch, Sunny Day. F oh right, they added the weather types in this one too. Yeah, like Ember and Bite versus Roar uh, versus Flamethrower and Crunch. Yeah, no, I'm taking a Houndour. Yeah, I like this. I know I only gave one of them a berry, but whatever. It'll be fine. Also, hey, at least this one doesn't have three goddamn fuckers before him. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium 2 looks so much nicer. Okay, so he basically just has flying types. So I'm going to say we start out with Chinchow. Then let's say Pupitar. And how about Flaffy to follow up? A Dream FS? I don't know what you what that means. So probably not? Oh, Chinchou, you're so cute. Yeah, this looks so much sleeker than Je than uh, Pokemon Stadium 1. Holy shit. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, so we're just going to Thunder. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, damn it, Thunder, really? I have no idea what you were referring to, no. How about we confuse Ray, then? I'm sorry. So, this Pokemon is just called Natu, but he's named it Natu Ash? What? Uh, let's go with Thunder. Okay, I'm gonna regret this, but hang on. Have you ever had a- Ah, that was fucking loud! That you, um, you had... you, you, you... Oh, fuck, I have seen this, I have seen this. God damn it, I hate you so much, Nestark. Also, ow, that was loud. I'm sure it was loud for the rest of you. Hey, Red Falcon! <laughs> Come on, hit with the thunder! God damn it. Hit with thunder! Hit with thunder! I should have taken the lantern. Yes! Uh, yeah, I have seen that before. Is this your weird off color Pidgey? Oh. No, it's Pidgeotto. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you hear that? Wait, I have Rain Dance. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> God damn it. Here, have a Confuse Ray. Damn it. Look, this they actually made Gust a flying type move this gen. It's not a good idea to use it anymore. Stop that. Um, he said something like, It's Pidgeotto! Will it be able to defend the honor of its fallen comrade? I'm just like, what? So confused that it landed, smacked itself into the air again, apparently. It was confused for one turn! God damn it. Fuck this game. Hey, guess what? It's raining! Thunder can't miss anymore! Also, why does he just have Ash at the end of all of his poor Pokemon's names? Is this the weird off-color Pidgey? Yep, this is the off-color Pidgey. I guess shiny Pidgey, whatever. Here, have another perfect, unmissable thunder. I can't believe that I forgot that I had Rain Dance. Like, I saw it on the move list and went, Right! I could just do, like, Rain Dance Thunder and nothing will miss. 
Chin Chu's just like, what have I done? It's not shiny, it's just like off color, yeah. Sorry, but there's no way I'll lose to your Pokemon. That's kind of a dick move, man. Okay, he has one Ice type. So let's make sure to bring Houndour just in case. I'll bring Pupitar, uh, Houndour, and Flaffy, sure. Plus Flaffy knows Fire Punch, so yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's just like they tone up the red in the yellows, I guess. Yeah, damn, these models look so much better. It it really is not fair how much better they look. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm not gonna lose to- Oh, shit, you- You're gonna, like, beat the shit out of me because you've got a single rock type. Oh, crap. Well, that's actually gonna be super effective, but it's Mudslap, so... Eh? 20 damage. You- You Sonic boomed. Okay, I guess you also lowered my accuracy. And I am using Rock Slide, so... <sighs> okay, so maybe we'll lose one. We'll lose the Pupitar that I probably shouldn't have picked first. Oh, good! No, my stats are not in tatters, just his fucking eyes are in tatters, apparently. He tanked that a lot better than I was expecting he was going to be able to. I mean, this is his, full, his only fully evolved Pokemon. Can you stop doing that? It's actually quite aggravating. If this one misses, I'm going to swap him out after this. Oh! Or it could hit. Okay. Why does this feel like it's really bright today? Oh, it's because this screen is also really bright. That's why. Ah. I'm gonna go with Hyper Beam. Ah. Welcome to the channel, Prince Zeppo, and... I mean, Red Falcon, I have no intention on seeing it, but I mean, yeah, other people probably will care if you give spoilers. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, yeah, this is my life now. Oh, wait, I can just magically stand back up somehow. I should do that. Okay, Houndour's model doesn't look great, but it could be worse. Let's go with Sunny Day, just for the f fucking sake of it. Yeah, the book holds no interest for me, and... I'm sorry, did he just use Mud Slap as well? This Pokemon can only know present. Okay, what the hell. Yeah, I have no intention of reading the book, and I also just don't really care, so... Mer I loved all the stupid Pokemon video, uh, like mini games in Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2. They were so good and so dumb. Can it? I thought it couldn't learn most TMs. Also, is there really a TM for Mud Slap? Because that seems deeply stupid. We're gonna lose a Houndour to this fucking Deli Bird. We are going to lose a Pokemon to a goddamn Deli Bird. See, every review that I've seen that I even remotely, like, from reviewers who I even remotely cared about were basically like, yeah, it actually does a very good job by mostly, uh, f um, subverting your expectations of the book because the book has some very big issues in it. Let's go with. 
And the author has some issues. We're gonna lose a hound hour to this fucking deli bird. It's not a Nuzlocke. We're d there's a... There's just like a gym... It's sort of like a bottle or a boss rush-ish mode in Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2. Um, but since I don't have any like way to import registered Pokemon... Most of the issues are with the uh, author himself. Okay, let's go with Thunder Punch then. Why are we so slow? <laughs> oh my god. Hit him. Good, thank you. Ugh. Okay, that we can definitely deal with with a Thunder Punch. Assuming it doesn't also... No. Um, not interest. So, Alephcat, or not Alephcat, sorry. Red Falcon, um, I don't know all of the details about the author's uh, issues, but he has some strong and negative feelings about different members of the LGBT community, which apparently I have been led to believe also slip into the book in a couple places. Um, basically, he has similar issues to Orson Scott Card, except he's slightly more modern, also a bit rapey. Uh, he's got some problematic and disturbing Reddit posts that people have sent, uh, have posted in places that I have seen and are, um, uh, iffy at best. HIT HIM! Damn it! We're going to lose to another fucking gym leader. What the fuck? Thank God this isn't a Nuzlocke. God damn it. Remember I was going to switch to this one because I thought I had a better chance of not fucking it up royally? God damn it. Well, it's one of those things where it's more personally. I, whatever it is that slipped into the book wasn't actually as bad as. Apparently I do. Um, like, it's the same thing with Card, where Card is actually just a terrible human being from pretty much every interaction anyone has ever had with him. <laughs> He's right! I didn't lose to his apparently not as shitty as I expected Pokemon. Clearly what I need is something that is... I really hate accuracy lowering moves because I never understand how to combat them. The rental Pokemon are really kind of terrible. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's go grab a Steelix because that seems silly. Uh, yes, yeah, Steelix. Do you have decent moves? You actually have really good moves, except Mud Slap, but whatever. So the issue is that Gengar is also weak to ground, but that's true. I'm just stupid about switching. Actually, this is also another way to get around it. Um, I forgot about the whole ice types because they added at least one ice type to this gen. Right. You also can't the, get the legendary birds from this generation either. What the hell? Cosmo, because Oliver ran away, Stark loves you. Oh, right, yes, hang on. I want to see what moves this fucking deli bird knows. I know it's not the same that theirs knew, but what does the rental deli bird know? Holy shit, the rental deli bird knows good moves. I am going to use the rental deli bird because... It's going to be immune to... 
I just realized this. It's going to be immune to ground type. And it has blizzard. Why was I not using Delibird? I will never say that phrase ever again. Okay, is there anyone else who's flying and beneficial that will be immune to- Well, one, let me go grab this Chincher again, because he was awesome. Okay, uh, anyone else who's gonna be immune to... Hang on, what is Steelix's second type? Is it ground or rock? No, I want to- There's no easy way to go check them, is there? Okay. I would also prefer Bakery Bird. Look, I was expecting the Dilly Bird to know the only move it can actually learn in game, which is that awful present move. Which it doesn't even know! What's wrong with this game? Okay, um... Dugong? Dugong also seems decent. Okay, we need one more. I really wish I'd remembered ice was a type, because I love ice types. Um, but I think that's pretty much all the good ice types. Because there are, like, none of them in this gen. Um, how about any of the... Oh, wait, nope, there is Cloyster. I don't remember what Spike Cannon does. But that high defense, I think, will actually serve us very well. So, yes, we'll go for an ice team this time. Ground Steel. Okay, that's actually way better for our needs, then. The Steel's still gonna be weak to the ground type, but eh. Yeah, you know what I really want, though? I'm trying to figure out where... Because I don't feel like a Panini comes from a Deli. I feel like a Panini comes from somewhere else. Like, it's definitely not a bakery, either. Uh, okay, so... Let's lead with... Steelix, Dugong, and Cloyster? Sure. <laughs> no, it does not come from Panera. Um, like, I, I don't even get paninis that often, but the amount of time that I got to spend in France, they, that was easily my favorite part about being in France, was that I didn't have to, if I wanted quick food, I didn't have to go to, like, fast food. It was, like, I walked up to a stand on the side of the road and could get a panini made instantly, and it was almost always one of the best things I had ever eaten. Like, one of the best foods that I recall having eaten in my entire life is after a long-ass day of bussing across the middle of fuck-nowhere France, uh, stopping in... It was a seaside town whose name I've entirely forgotten that is sort of in... I think right now it's in the province of Britannia, but at different points in history has been like in the Britannia province in a province next door that I don't remember which one, and at one point was also annexed by uh, Britain, and... At a certain point, they just decided, like, no, we don't owe anything to anyone, and decided that they were their own, like, free city, basically. And we'd been traveling all fucking day. And we stopped here, and we were all starving. So we just sort of got a bunch of free time to walk around the city. So we just went, well, let's walk down this street and see what we can find to eat. And it was, like, I don't even know how to describe it, because it wasn't, like... Here's these slices of bread that we'll put stuff in between. It was actually, like, not finished dough. It was, like, par-baked dough. It was like a par-baked dough slug, basically, that they slit down the middle and opened and filled with nothing except for, like, mozzarella, diced tomatoes, and diced onions. And sealed it up and threw it in underneath this panini press so the entire thing all cooked at once. And it was so good. Because I think it was the first thing I got to eat all day. But it was so good. <laughs> oh, please. Let's not have Doe Slug as a Pokemon. Like, the reason why Doe Slug came to mind is because, um... 
I was hearing, I was listening to someone talk about a a lawsuit that happened to Subway because their their subways their sandwiches weren't a foot long, and the whoever it was like tried to go after the store or something, and the store's bis- defense was basically like, "Look, we don't make the bread; it comes to us in these theoretically uniform dough slugs." Because, like, I was a professional baker, and that's kind of how you get a lot of your uh, dough if you don't make it yourself is uh, Sodexo and not Sodexo, Cisco and a couple other companies like them, like Aramark have basically just this dough that is pre-made and pre-portioned but is frozen and you just thaw it out and proof it and then do whatever the hell else you want to do with it to make it look better and like it didn't come out of a box. I'm just going to keep using Rock Throw. And (laughs) the ones that we were using were basically like this long and just they looked like a a little like um what is it called like a a, like a just like a bludgeoning tool like they came in a almost 45 pound box that was just full of the fuckers but we went through so much business that i ended up using like one every like two weeks oh it was such a pain in the ass I love how Steelix basically took no damage throughout that. But it took so long because he kept missing and because I'd stopped to talk. Hello, Oliver. Stark loves you too. You just ran away when I was telling Cosmo he loved you. You also have, like, awful, awful eye gunk. Hey, Stark, should I also tell the cat that you love it? Or is that just a no? Okay, so now we open up with Delibird, right? Like... We open with Deli Bird, right? Just to fuck him up. Oliver, no, come here. Come here. Yes. Oh, oh God. You're trying to escape in the most awkward way. Come here. Oh, ah. Off. Uh, hello. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes. Who's a good boy? Okay, yes. We'll open with Deli Bird. Let's grab Dugong and Cloister. Ugh. Yeah, no, you're just sitting in the weirdest way. Like, you're fine. There you go. Yeah, who's a good boy? Cosmo's just staring up here now like, now I'm jealous. Okay, I'll let you down. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Because you're sort of wrapped up with one of my cables. Hey, don't be a dick. Ugh, Calcifer, Stark also loves you. Even though you're trying to hide off camera. Okay, so, yeah, Blizzard. Hey, Pidgeotto, eat a dick. Or Pidgeot, whatever the hell your name is. Cock! Well, that was a waste of a Blizzard. Cosmo, do you want to come up here? Is that it? Oh, you actually want to come up. Good boy. Cosmo, do you want to sit? There is nothing in that bag. Come on, kill it with the blizzard. Kill it with the blizzard. Fuck! Uh, okay, fine. We'll use present. Do you want to sit? Do you want to be a good boy and sit so you're actually on camera? There we go. There's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah, you're a very good bull. Yes, you are. Yeah, I've always been partial to large dogs. Okay, so I think we should still survive this hit. Ooh, wait, no. Did I do my math wrong? I may have done my math wrong. Oh, I didn't do my math wrong. Yeah, I've always been partial to big dogs. Um, cock. Uh, we're gonna have to sacrifice Dilly Bird. Because there's no reason to keep him around, honestly. Because um, my folks growing up had a... Well, not growing up. 
My I grew up around Airedales, which are not small. They're definitely not the biggest, but they're 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 decently large. But uh, seven years ago, so basically like halfway through high school, uh, my parents finally got to enact their their dream and got an Irish Wolfhound. <laughs> So I am very used to very large dogs. That's a good compromise, man. I mean, that's pretty much what Haley and I came to as well, is that uh, Haley's always had, like, very, very small dogs, and I always had larger to medium, lar medium large dogs. So we compromised and ended up with two... Well, I think this one's small. I think this one's kind of small. This one's just dense. But... Oliver is kind of large. Fuck off, Hero. I should have brought a real electric type or something with electric, but whatever. Wait a second here. I need to remember that I can rest and then sleep talk. That that looked painful. Yeah, those are those are the exact reasons why both all doggos are good. Ooh, good. Yeah, let's go with a rest, and then we can sleep talk. Who's a good Cosmo? Cosmo, do you want to look at the camera? That that's me. But okay. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Yeah, you do love your your chest and neck scritches. Okay, sleep talk. Yeah, oh. Oh, is that the good spot? Really? <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my god. What the fuck, sleep talk? Yeah, who's a pretty boy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for the cat to get... Why does he keep trying to use rest? Oh my god! But that means the sleep talk doesn't do anything! Oh my god! Okay, yes, you can go down. Fuck off! Three sleep talks. One didn't go off because it woke up. The other two didn't go off because it tried to rest while asleep. Okay, let's switch. Because fuck accuracy <laughs> lowering moves. God damn it. Ah, oh, this is so stupid. Oh. Okay, after this gym fight, I'm going to take a quick break because I've got to go like, do one or two chores super quick. So, max, like... Max five minutes, probably less than five minute break. Uh... I don't remember how Spike Cannon works. I'm gonna go with Aurora Beam. Why are you so fast, and why is Mud Slap the only move you fucking know? <sighs> this just reinforces why I'm actually kind of worried about fighting Faulkner in the Nuzlocke. Because there's very, very small chance that we can get a rock type before having to deal with Faulkner. And he does use a lot of mud slap, so even if we manage to catch a uh, Ghastly, we don't have a guaranteed good way to take him out. Uh... Come on, one more, one more Aurora Beam. If it doesn't work, I'll swap out again. Because, goddammit, Drill Pack. Yep, thank you. Super high defense. I really wish Cloyster was a more usable Pokemon, because he's really cool. Yep. Yes, he is, and hopefully he'll actually win. Thankfully, your attack is still lowered. Haha! -ha. The benefits of Aurora Beam! 
Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it! Yep, then my accuracy lowers. Hit it with the Aurora Beam. Come on, I believe in you. Yes! Okay, I'm no longer worried about this fight. Right, it's a Delibird. I forgot about that. So the ice types are less great. I forgot that he also knows Mud Slap. Forgot about that. I did forget about that part. Fuck you, Delibird. It's really not white hot. He's just using mud slap and then trying to smack and then headbutting me. And now we have to switch again. Oh my god. Accuracy lowering moves aren't fun. But I really am kind of worried about the Faulkner fight. Because I don't think you can get to the Mareep because they're a little bit too far away. And even then, we'd have to get lucky and have our first Pokemon be a Mareep. I mean, hopefully it should make me lose less, Mr. Announcer Man. Well, yeah, they're all now covered in mud, so apparently they can't tell where the hell their opponent is anymore. Like, no damage, but okay. It's still the best I've got. Thank goodness this has 20 PP. This is so dumb. Hit it. Hit it. You've only been lowered twice. Hit it. Yes. Okay, now we get to find out, does it know recover? Don't know recover. Don't know recover. Don't know recover. Come on. Come on, hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yes! Champion! Champion! <laughs> that fight took a very, very long time. A very, very long time. Oh my goodness, that was so dumb! That was so dumb! <sighs> Shut up, we're a retiring champion! No, we're not. I'm actually just gonna go on break. I'll be right back in just a few minutes. <laughs> I'll be back in just a few minutes, y'all. <laughs>
And, okay, so I'm back. Let's go back to this. So I'm back. Um, we think that we might be going live in an hour-ish with Killing Floor, but I don't know. I honestly have no idea because Haley's not back yet. So I guess we'll figure that out once Haley gets here. But until then, I'm still playing more Pokemon. So, Bugsy. Oh god, Bugsy has... Is Bugsy a guy or a girl? I honestly have no idea. Hmm. Well, Bugsy has some folks, uh... Oh wait, that's the wrong program. That one. That's the one I want. Bugsy has some, some people before them. Okay. So all bug types are going to be weak to fire. Bugsy is a boy. Okay. I mean, that, that would be why I was confused. Um... Well, hang on. There's amazing fire types in the new gen, so let's go grab... I'm going to say either Typhlosion or Quillava, because they are personal favorites. What is the power on Flame Wheel? It's only 60, right? Ah, uh. uh, sure. Let's grab Typhlosion. Okay, so we definitely don't want any Psychics. Well, we could grab some Psychics, but they're not going to be amazing. Um, Rock is also good against Bug, isn't it? So, let's actually try and use, where is it? Where is his face? Um, Sudowoodo. Um, let's grab Ampharos, just in case there's any flying bug types. A pure electric type is never a bad idea. Let's see, anyone else that we want to grab? Do either of the Cthulhu monstrosities have decent moves? Yes. Ancient Power and Water Gun. Ancient Power Blizzard and Surf. Uh... Ooh, Slugma is pretty good. Yeah, let's grab an Amistar and... God, I really hope we can catch a Slugma in our Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Because I really like Slugma and uh, Mag Cargo. Yeah, Fire Bl Wow, these are really good moves. Fuck yes, we'll take a Mag Cargo. Are you kidding me? See you around, Prince Zeppo. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you will consider following us. We did have that, like, full schedule up there. We do Pokemon relatively often. Basically Mondays and Tuesdays, along with random bonus streams. But thanks for stopping by, man. Um, who do I want to switch into this last spot? How about a bug steal? I mean, he doesn't know any bug-type moves, but there really aren't that many bug-type moves, so screw it. And I grab at the empty beer bottle because I'm an idiot. Okay. Now I'm very glad we grabbed Almanite. Okay. So he's m mostly rocking bugs. Shuckle's a bit of a odd duck. Wait, can I check his? Nope, I can only check mine. Okay. So yeah, Shuckle's going to be an odd duck. So let's grab... I think Amistar should be our opener. With Mag Cargo and Scizor, I think, as our backups. Because they're going to be sort of like middle of the road, sort of like wide type coverage. Prince Zeppo, thank you very much for the follow. I don't know why that alert didn't just show up. Why is the alert not here? You have got to be kidding. Okay, hang on. That's gonna... I'm sorry. That is 
actually really, really annoying that that didn't pop for you. Because it just decided it didn't want to be live. I'm so sorry about that. Mostly because it would have yelled a, an Overwatch line that I don't remember. Because I set all of them and I... Red Falcon, you were terrible. You're terrible and you should feel bad, but good good on you. That was, that was a good one. Shit, that's the Paris. That one actually can do a grass-type attack and really fuck us up. Okay, close, close. That was a terrible move. Yes, welcome to the lair. <laughs> it's welcome to the lair. Please enjoy the lore. We have an amount of branding. In that we're the same thing everywhere. <gasps> Excuse me. Well, at least it was a series of glancing blows. I don't think this Paris knows any grass-type moves. Or it's really stupid. They're both possible. Let's go with Bite just to finish it. Oh, hey, Cal. I mean, I wouldn't want to get bitten by that mouth. Look at it. It's fucking terrifying. Wow, that's actually a really good Ratatata mo model. Huh. I'm still going to go with Ancient Power, though. Oh, shit. They fixed focus energy. No! <laughs> Fear the Ancient Power. That didn't do anywhere near as much as I was hoping. Uh, Let's switch in Scizor. Just because Scizor is, like, uber defensive against everything that isn't fire. Like, when you really come down to it, Steel Bug is a really nicely defensive typing. Uh, yeah, let's go with Metal Claw for that sweet, sweet stab. I mean, it's not Super Fang, so... Huh? No, it didn't. Yeah! Fuck yeah. Stop following the cat everywhere, it's weird. Cosmo. Oh, now I'm really glad that I switched to Scizor. Because that's part rock type. You know what rock's weak to? Metal! <clears throat> Oh, that's annoying. Wait, I'm sorry, that didn't connect? Okay, strikes target with the sharp- Oh, fuck, the accuracy is 95? 5% chance to not hit. Damn you, Shuckle, and your weird defenses. I do like that it makes Scissor flat, but he's still sort of, like, moves back and forth. Um, I don't think it does. I think it just knows this rollout, and it's going to be trapped using this rollout for a while. And aside from the 1 in 20 chance of missing again, I think we got this fight in the bag. What's up, weird animals? My weird, weird, precious animals. I'm really tempted, by the way. So, today is, like, the my stream at 2, which is this. And then Haley's got her stream at, like, 6.30, which is going to be the killing floor. Though apparently she's feeling sick, so we'll see whether or not that's actually around on my computer or not. So, officially, tomorrow we have the D&D &D stream and, like, nothing. 
I'm kind of tempted to try and finish the Nuzlocke tomorrow or Monday. Just because we're so close to done. And I really just can't... Uh, not tomorrow or Monday. Tomorrow or Sunday. Because I want to start Monday off fresh with Heart Gold. Just to be like, yeah, it's a new game. We can do this. I have to make new overlays anyway. <laughs> because there's a second screen. Okay, so... Jigglypuff and Clefairy, as well as a bunch of bug types and a Pikachu. Okay, so let's open with Magcargo, then Scizor, and then I think Pseudowoodo, because I think Pseudowoodo knows a fighting type move. It might be counter, but I think he knows a fighting type move. <laughs> oh right, they gave them names! I forgot about that! Trainers have names in Gen 2! Oliver, hush. He's barking at the door. Ah, oh, shit, I should have gone to the, the uh, office today to check mail, too. Uh, what does Smog do? Smog is spewed as a cloud. It has a 50-50 chance of poisoning the target, but has low accuracy and low power. Amnesia, remember, Rock Slide. It's powerful, but not great. Honestly, I kind of want to just open up strong, but I feel like Clefairy has high special defense. So let's go with a rock slide. Oh, car. Okay, that's not the one I thought it was. I thought it was attraction. I always get charm and attraction confused. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, let's try fire blast. If that doesn't do decent damage, then I'll swap out to, uh, the other one whose name I've forgotten. No, no, Amnesia Dust raise our stats. I don't know why. Oh, that was way better. Okay. Damn you for not being fairy type. The smog would be so much better if you were fairy. Well, if my Fire Blast hits, I don't think that little protection will matter. Fuck yes. Wait, my Cargo hasn't taken any damage yet. I don't know, which Pokemon is next? Okay. Frog Slide has a better chance to hit. But my attack has been lowered twice. Let's try it. Because it's if it hits, it's quad damage. We'll make it smell nice? Oh, is that aromatherapy? Or, uh... You're not gonna actually tell me what move that was, are you? Damn it, that's what I was afraid of. Come on, rock slide hit. If you just hit, we're fine. Sweet scent, that's it. You've got a lot of support here, but I'm not seeing any, like, damage. Hit! Fuck, yeah. That would be because of the whole, we took a bunch of damage. I'm gonna say pseudo Udo, because Scizor is not gonna be able to do anything particularly amazing here. Uh, so weirdly, I'm already thinking ahead to our, like, potential third gen play, and I feel really weird because I kind of want to try and make a Shedinja work. Because Shedinja is a pet favorite of mine, and I've always loved um, bug types. Why are you supersonicing again? You already used it once. Wait, am I not confused? Oh, I thought I was confused. Okay. Um, like, Alephcat, I know you don't know anything about Pokemon, really. Red Falcon, how much do you know about Pokemon? Ugh. Heard me while I stretch and try and break all my stuff. Sunkern doesn't actually know any moves. What's Mimic do? Move from learning one of the opponent's moves. Yeah, no, that's probably not great. Let I'm gonna hope that it's gonna do something stupid. 
So let's switch to Mad Cargo again. Aw, oh, sleepy Kelsifer. I meant to drag you on camera too. Okay, so do you know like the weirdness about Shedinja? Because I know for sure Alephcat has no idea, and I assume Stark has like some idea why I want to try and use Shedinja. <laughs> Uh, Fire Blast, sure. And why it would also be insanely difficult to use Shedinja. I think we just got a perfect match. So is it going to tell us that we got perfect? Because we did totally get a perfect there. Ah, So, um, Shedinja's the weird one, where it's, um, they have Ninkata, Ninjask, and Shedinja that are all in the same tree, because it's, uh, Ninkata's like a cicada, and when it evolves, it turns into Ninjask that's like a really super, super fast flying Pokemon. But if it evolves and you've got an open spot in your party, the, like, husk that it leaves behind turns into a... Uh, fills that empty spot and turns into a Shedinja. And Shedinja... Uh, let's lead with Typhlosion. Then Amistar. Then I think we still want to have a Mag Cargo. Um, so Shedinja's a bug ghost type and only has one hit point. Like, it can never go above one hit point. And it has an ability because this is when the generation where they first added Pokemon abilities called Wonder Guard. That means it can't take damage unless the attack that's dealing it damage would be super effective. Uh, I guess we Flame Wheel? Honestly, a Rock-type move would be better here, but Flame Wheel should be able to take it out. Maybe. Oh, shit, he gets to attack first. Well, he is a Scyther. That was harsh. Yeah, so one, I want the I want to get an Inkata because it will enable us to get two Pokemon. But I want to get an Inkata because it'll enable us to get one Pokemon that's actually pretty good, and one Pokemon that is janky as fuck and really difficult in a Nuzlocke, but who I really like. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be insanely hard on the Nuzlocke, yeah. <laughs> that's why I kind of want to do it. Because he's a favorite Pokemon of mine. We just have to... Well, since we're going to be doing it on um, Omega, Ruby, or Alpha Sapphire, we wouldn't actually have to worry too much about... Uh, uh, about TMs. Because we could just reuse them, but... It, it could be really bad. Since I'm not going to be playing on a Game Boy Advance game, it should be okay, but still... Goodbye, Typhlosion. Yeah, if we were playing on, like, the original Game Boy Advance games, then we'd have the additional issue of, like, teaching it really good moves with the, uh... Uh... TMs, and then losing the TMs, too, if it finally died. No, don't use berries to heal. That's bad. Here, have a Fire Blast. But yeah, it would be so hard to Nuzlocke, because... Anything that actually hit it would just be the end. And I'm trying to think, like, it's weak to, like, fire, dark, flying, uh, rock. What else is it weak to? Hang on, I don't remember. It's weak to a lot. Uh oh. There's a non-zero chance that that's going to have guillotine. So let's let's fire blast it quickly and hard. I don't even know what it just used. Tackle or double edge or uh, not tackle, double kick or takedown. Where's nope. There we go. That's what I'm looking for.
Okay, so it's weak to fire, flying, rock. Oh, fuck, it's weak to ghost and dark. Because I, f I always forget the ghost is also weak to ghost. But yeah, so I mean, it's it's some niche things. Like, in if we're doing it in uh, Alola, then that would be way worse. Because fucking Alola has dark types out the goddamn wazoo. But I mean... Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of... Hoenn? Yeah, Hoenn. <clears throat> Hoenn has some ghost, and it has some dark, but honestly, its biggest thing is just fucking water types goddamn everywhere. Like, even a lot of their dark types don't learn dark type moves for a while. I mean, Poochyanna does, and Mightyanna, and, like, but, like, Absol doesn't learn that many dark type moves. Okay, so now we need fighting types. And now they're just tearing circles around the damn house. Okay, um... Fighting types and off fighting types. And something not weak to rock. Because that fucker milk tank. Um, let's see here. Polyrath, do you know any fighting- Yes, you know Dynamic Punch. I- Yeah, let's have a Polyrath, that seems powerful. I've never used him a champ. What does submission do? Strongest fighting type attack, one quarter of the damage also hurts the attacker. Okay, fair. That's a big recoil, but that's fair. Hey, stop it, you idiots. Oh, right, but there weren't that many steel attacks yet. Muck. Hmm. Yep. Yep. It's basically the living in terror of please don't know a dark type move. Please don't know a dark type move. Um, let's see. Why the fuck does Lickitung know Shadow Ball? Why does Rhydon know Zap Cannon? Oh wait, did they lower Diggs attack? Oh, fuck, they really lowered Diggs' attack. Um, let's see. Genghis Khan does Bite, Surf, and Dizzy Punch. Okay. Okay. It's pretty decent. Oh, right, yeah, Flareon's gonna be sort of shit in this. Um, Jolteon seems good. Vaporeon, not quite so much. Um, let's see here. Fire Blast right. The best part is that if we are playing with the uh, DS versions, we can get at least a little bit of cheating in. Because there's the Pokemon... Oh, fuck, what's it called? There's, like, the device that lets you sort of see what Pokemon you're going to be able to get. Unfortunately, it works a whole hell of a lot better if you can repeatedly see the Pokemon a lot. But still... At least we can sort of, like, tell ahead of time if it's going to be an Inkata, so we can make sure that we get an Inkata. Because I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Right, we're against the normal gym. Um, Fortress seems really powerful against her. Um, let's see. Are there any good fighting types in Gen 2? I mean, Hitmon Top is a fighting type, but isn't Triple Kick basic? Yeah, Triple Kick's basically just a less great double kick. So no. Yeah, that'll be a careful balance. We'll need to strike, but I think it would. I think it'll be fun. Um, Skarmory's cool, but I don't think he's going to be great in this. Corsal is kind of. Honestly, not that great in anything. Uh, just trying to figure out what other things we want on this team without knowing what the hell they've got. Uh, no. As much as I would love to have a goofy-ass toga tick. Now, we've already got an electric type. How about a, uh, 
Psychic water type? That seems decent. Well, hang on, what's Porygon now? Nothing I care about. Um, yeah, psychic water seems powerful, so... Well, let's check Starmie, because I definitely haven't used Starmie yet. Once I remember what the hell number Starmie is. I don't remember what the hell number Starmie is. <laughs> um... Star, 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 star. There we go. There's Star You, there's Star Me. Okay. Zap Cannon Waterfall, but no psychic moves. Why do you know psychic, but your fucking evolved form doesn't? God damn it. Uh. Do I actually just want to grab a water electric? No. I want a good water type. Icy Wind, Whirlpool... That's not a great combination of moves. That's better, though. Yeah, let's grab a Gyarados. We've used a Gyarados before. Mm. Wow, that's a weird move set, but not actually bad for a Snorlax. Oh, wait, does Aerodactyl finally know a Rock-type move? Sure, that's not great, but fine. I'll grab an Aerodactyl. We haven't used an Aerodactyl before, because New Amber is... Kind of shitty. Damn you, Gen 1, and making awesome looking Pokemon really shit. Okay, so they've got one ground. Was it four normals? Three normals and two waters. Okay. Let's open up with Fortress. There's a good chance that they're going to have a water type, so I'll throw Jolteon in. And then, let's say Polyrath. I'm trying to remember, who's the gym leader? There's a gym leader in the second gen who uses Dynamic Punch, right? Or am I thinking of uh, Broly in as like the second gym leader in Hoenn? They all sort of start to blend together. That is a disturbing looking polywag. Okay, so first of all, spikes. Okay, you're opening up, uh, Harsh. I love how tanky Fortress is. I'm not gonna lie, if I that's another one that I wanna get. If we can get a Pineco in uh Heart Gold, I'm going to definitely try and get a Pineco, because as I think I've said on multiple occasions, Bug is my favorite type. Especially now that Bug has started to become a really useful, good type. I really like Bug-type Pokemon. They're just so cool. But especially like a really good defensive Bug Steel, that's awesome to me. I just realized its name is Waglet, or Waggit. Uh, yeah, let's just roll it out until we, uh... I probably could have strength, but whatever. I think rollout's gonna be better. Because everything it can do to us is gonna be not very effective. Plus, now we've got the spikes out. Really? That missed? Why the fuck did that miss? Um... So now that we've got the spikes out and the sandstorm going, we'll be able to, like, continuously damage anything that they switch in. And really punish them if they try to do any, like, switch outs. Yeah! That rollout! Poor Wage-it. I think that would be pronounced Wage-it, because it's Wage- God, those lips are really disturbing. Ooh, right, my special defense is not great. Okay, <laughs> what do you got? Is it a mill tank? I know it's not a milk tank, whatever. So much damage right up front. It's just suffer. Suffer the fate of your friend. Oh, can we tank a double edge? I don't think we can't. 
Holy shit, we just tanked that whole double edge. Fuck yes. This is why I love bug types, because they're the weirdly most defensive uh, type in the game. <laughs> Come on, double edge me again. Do it! Oh shit, that might actually be effective. Not very effective! <laughs> no, we finally missed! Okay, uh, honestly, I'm gonna switch Pokemon, because I don't want to lose Fortress. Uh, sure, let's go with Jolteon. I'm gonna switch to Jolteon, and it's gonna turn out that his other remaining team member is, um... Fanfi. Wait, is Fanfi ground? I know that Donphan is ground, but is Fanfi ground? I bet it is. I bet it is. That was sort of a dick move there, uh, Mr. Merrill. I mean, it's going to affect the flow of battle by letting me, like, destroy it. Yeah, rollout just keeps going until... So, it keeps going and increasing in damage until you miss. So, that's what ended up ending the streak, was that we'd done it, like, five turns in a row, and it finally missed. Oh! Or you could just make the really stupid decision and have a Teddy Ursa. Yep, gotta love them spikes. Those beautiful, beautiful spikes. So we double kick it, right? I think so. I love being faster. Mm, that could have done more damage, but it wasn't bad. Wait, it's Friday, right? So it's Friday, which means... I have to spend part of tomorrow siphoning beer. I forgot about that. So, like, right over there um, is our, like, mostly unused bathroom. Like, occasionally it's basically just used for when we're streaming. And we don't want to walk all the way to the other bathroom. But mostly what it's used for is there's a tub in there. And a tub is a weirdly good place to keep a beer that's fermenting. Like, not in the tub. It's in a carboy that's sitting in the tub. But in case something happens to the carboy, it all goes down the drain. Not anywhere else, and it's an easy-to-clean area. Um, and I've had... we. I started brewing a beer... Two weeks and, like, a couple of days ago. Okay, so you've got one fire, one water, one electric, one ground, and then two normals, I think? Yeah. So you've got a weird variety. So let's keep opening up with Fortress. Um, I'm going to say Aerodactyl and Gyarados. Seems okay. Um, <clears throat> so after the first week, um, I, we're doing, I'm doing a fruit beer. So after the first week, you basically let it sit and ferment by itself so it can actually build up its alcohol levels. So then you move it into... Uh, let's go with spikes. And then we'll just do rollout until it's dead. Alright, I forgot they added magnitude in this game. What?! Magnitude 10? Fuck you. Um, so I had it brewing for about a week in the original fermenter with... Nothing special. It's, it was a, um, it wasn't a full, what's it called? I can't remember the actual term for it. It wasn't an all grain. It was a hybrid, but there's an actual name for that. And I can't remember what it is. So there was like grain and, um, extract because all grain is a massive pain in the ass. Goodbye. I'm sorry, it got flattened and then went up in the air, but still had, like, its dirt thing. Oh, God. Oh, God, it knows a tract. I don't know how that... I don't know how that works with rollout. Fuck me, okay. Uh, Gyarados. Hopefully he'll do another magnitude. Um, but yeah, he... Or the... 
I moved it into a carboy on last Wednesday. So I moved... <laughs> it was really fun because I had to... Siph I basically had to siphon... Uh, it was, I didn't siphon the full six gallons because there was a whole bunch of yeast and sediment at the bottom that I didn't siphon over. Uh, so I siphoned over probably about like five point something gallons over into a carboy with about eight pounds of pureed blueberries and, uh, the skin of like an or of one orange. Well, the zest, not the skin, because I didn't include the pith. And it's been about a week now, and a week is the minimum that a fruit beer needs to sit. So I'm going to siphon off some of it. One, so we can taste it. And two, so that I can bottle it. Um, unfortunately, it pro so I my hope was that I would have it ready for Easter. But... It's not going to have any real carbonation to it. So it'll be pretty flat, but I still think I'm going to bring it to Easter. Just to test it out on a bunch of beer snobs, basically. Yeah, no, just keep doing Twister, I think. Well, what's the power on Twister? 40. What the fuck? Why is it only 40? Then, no, let's just do Waterfall. Waterfall's just straight up better, then, because we also get the stab. Yes, <laughs> yes, Red Falcon, you definitely control the chat. <laughs> I mean, there there are some people who are apparently here and just not talking. Including, I believe I'm seeing some new folks. Nope, oh, shit, what? Uh, Dragon Rage, just for the rubbins? I feel like Dragon Rage, just for the rubbins. God damn it, I love hearing that so much. No, you didn't even have to bribe me. <laughs> Look, let's be clear, I'm easily bribed. Oh, my poor dead dogs are just everywhere now. Everyone is so tired. I am afraid that that is going to be able to outspeed me. Yep, it's outspeeding me. Damn it. Okay, who's my other Pokemon? Because Fortress definitely can't handle a Ponyta. Aerodactyl, right. Aerodactyl knows ancient power, right? Or rock slide. He knows a rock move. That was a fucking weird way to say Aerodactyl, but okay. Oh, sweet. Yeah, okay, yeah. Just just ancient power him and laugh. Yeah! Oh, fuck, he's not dead. <laughs> I love how his stomp is basically just like, hop in place! ba bum ba bum uh, bite. Just, just for the rubbins again. That is not how I personally would bite something. With some sort of strange front flip. But to each their own, I suppose. That was fucking weird. It was really, really weird. Uh, sure, continue battling. I mean, yes, sure. Why would I not continue battling, you goober? You bite with your tail? You have a tail? These are probably things that should be revealed. Okay, so everything except the the gloom and the dodrio are weak to fighting. So I think we should have two fighters and one sort of like backup. No, we shouldn't. I'm going to do Fortress, Polyrath, Jolteon, 
I think. Hmm. I think Jolteon. Yeah, this is going to be a weird one. If she doesn't send out the mill tank, I'm going to be very confused. Sure, take it a creepy way, Red Falcon. <laughs> Fuck the milk tank! No! Okay. Uh, no. Okay. So first of all, spikes. Because kindly eat a dick. Oh, that's annoying. I guess I know it didn't do that much damage. It's still annoying. Here, have spikes. So we just roll out before it can, right? Like, the whole thing about... Uh, Whitney's mill tank is that it's actually a massive pain in the ass to deal with because it opens up with rollout and just keeps rolling out forever. And when it's not using rollout, usually it's sitting there drinking its own milk. Cosmo, stop that. To massively heal itself. Ugh. Come on, build up power a little bit better. I, at this point, I actually have no input on this game, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I, I actually have no input on this fight at all. Damn it, it got the earthquake off, off before my, my stupid move. Okay, let's see who we can switch out. The, uh, yeah, let's go with Polyrath, because if she keeps Earthquaking, then that won't work on him. That's got to be so weird to make all of your noises directly through your nose and nowhere else. So we double slap, right? You're just determined to open up with nothing but Earthquakes, but okay. <laughs> Fuck, that was painful. Come on, hit it again. Good. Which one is it? Fuck! Okay, we have to switch then. Because I am not losing Polyrath to a fucking Dodrio. Especially when I've got a Jolteon in the wings. Why does he sound so surprised every time I send something out? I mean, hopefully it will zap cannon and destroy the Dodrio. Damn it, I can't fucking spell today. There we go. So I think we just double kick it, right? I mean, I don't think Jolteon's gonna do great here. I think the basic idea is that we damage it as much as we can, then switch out to Polyrath, because Polyrath will get the stab with a uh, dynamic punch. Jesus! 
Ow, what the fuck? Okay, so I guess give up on super effective and just go hard with zap can Fuck! Okay, that sucks. Oh, wait, no psychic! I am less comforted by this... Uh, this battle now. Okay. Fifty percent chance to hit. Okay. So do we? Okay, this might be a stupid move. I outspeed it? Oh, okay, maybe I have a chance then. Come on, don't do enough, don't do enough, don't do enough, come on. Yeah! <laughs> we just fucking win now. We just win now. Yeah! Suck it, Whitney! Shut up, Whitney. Trying to get sob... Like a sob story out of me. Fuck you, I know what you do to players in, uh... Gold and Silver. You're... Ecrateal. Ecrateek. Ecrateek? Ecrateek. I hate Ecrateek Town. Medium Holly, Sage, Ty, and Ecrateek Gym Leader, Morty. I don't know what you mean by that, Red Falcon. <laughs> okay, so, um, I think we're actually going to leave off there for today. Uh, partially because in about 20-ish minutes, Chewie and I are both going to go live. Uh, well, sorry. Chewie is going to go live. Haley is going to go live, like, shortly after him. Um... That is the link to a multi-twitch, which will pull up both Chewy and my streams. So that everyone involved gets, uh, like, so that both Chewy and I get the views. So you can help both of us out while watching both of us and see our, I'm going to say, unique points of view. Because we are going to be playing Killing Floor 2. There was a massive update that came out that added a uh, endless mode, which basically means no bosses. It's just endless, ever-increasingly large waves of the undead. Uh, it added a new zombie called the Rioter, or a new Zed, technically. Uh, we're not exactly sure what he does, but it looks like he, like, gives other Zeds some sort of temporary bonus. I bet probably to, like, attack speed and maybe attack power. Uh, it added a couple of new guns, one of which I'm sure Stephanie will be delightfully showing off. Uh, one of which I will be delightfully showing off, and the other one I don't know if any of us care about, sadly. Um, the stream will be going off of, theoretically, Haley's computer, um, so you'll get to see her lovely face and her camera and such. Other than that, there isn't too much else that's going on. I just wanted to say thank you all very much for tuning in and joining us along for this absolute madness. Um... If I do try and finish up the Nuzlocke tomorrow, I'm going to give a, like, early heads up on Twitter and Facebook. Just in case anyone know, uh, see or cares about it. For like, hey, I have to do this thing with the beer, and once the thing with the beer is done, I'm going to go live with this. If anyone wants to join in on desperately trying to finish it, I'm probably going to... So here's the thing. Like I said, I was going to try and do it on Sunday, but no, I'm sort of out of town Sunday because I'm seeing family, so we'll see. But I want, I'm going to try and get it done before Monday because I want to start Monday off with the new game. There's also just a good chance that we're just going to entirely wipe on the Elite Four, so uh, we'll see. 
Anyway, thank you all so very much for tuning in. Remember that when I cut to our uh, end screen, you can see our full schedule, which is actually accurate now. So consider checking that out. And please remember to tell your friends about the show if you think they will like it, because we're at that weird point now where the best way to grow is word of mouth. So thank you all so very much for tuning in, and we'll see you in like 20 minutes on Chewy's stream and a little bit later on ours. Bye, guys.